Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Christians Unite Bible Readings, we will be looking through Hebrews chapter 12. God our Father, verse 1. As for us, we have this large crowd of witnesses around us. Let us rid ourselves then of everything that gets in the way and the sin which holds on unto us so tightly, and let us run with determination the race that lies before us. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, on whom our faith depends for the beginning to the end. He did not give up because of the cross. On the contrary, because of the joy that was waiting for him, he thought nothing of the disgrace of dying on the cross, and is now seated at the right side of God's throne. Think of what he went through, how he put up with so much hatred for sinful men. So do not let yourselves become discouraged and give up. For in your struggle against sin, you had not yet had to fight to the point of being killed. Have you forgotten that encouraging words which God speaks to you as his sons? My son, pay attention when the Lord punishes you, and do not be discouraged when he rebukes you. For the Lord punishes everyone he loves, and whips everyone he accepts as a son. Endure what you suffer as being a father punishment, because your suffering shows that God is treating you as his sons. Was there ever a son who was not punished by his father? If you are not punished as all his sons are, it means you are not true sons, but bastards. In the case of our human fathers, they punished us and we respected them. How much more then should we submit to our spiritual father and live? Our human father punished us for a short time as it seemed right to them, but God does it for our own good, so that we may share his holiness. When we are punished, it seems to us that at the time something to make us sad, not glad. Later, however, those who have been disciplined by such punishment reap the peaceful reward of a righteous life. The main point that these verses are showing is that what Jesus went through, we haven't had to go through that. So there's a big difference. Also, it mentions that God is our Father. So he punishes us for the sins that we commit. And that's something that in time, you may see that it is for God's glory to make you better. Instructions and warnings. Verse 12. Lift up your limp hands, then in strengthen your weakened knees. Keep walking on straight paths so that the lame foot may not be disabled, but instead be healed. Try to be at peace with all men and try to live a holy life, for no one will see the Lord without it. Be careful that no one turns back from the grace of God. Be careful that no one becomes like a bitter plant that grows up and troubles many with its poison. Be careful that no one becomes immoral or unspiritual like Esau, who for a single meal sold his rights as an older son. Afterwards, you knew he wanted to receive his father's blessing, but he was turned back because he could not find a way to change what he had done, even though he looked for it with tears. You have not come, as the people of Israel came, to what you can feel, to Mount Sinai, with its blazing fire, the darkness and the gloom, the storm, the noise of a trumpet and the sound of a voice. When the people heard the voice, they begged not to have to hear another word, for they could not bear the order which said, even an animal touches the mountain, it must be stoned to death. The sight was so terrible that Moses said, I am trembling and afraid. Instead, you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem, which is thousands of angels, you have come to the joyful gathering of God's oldest sons, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God, who is the judge of all men, and to the spirit of righteousness men are made perfect. You have come to Jesus, who arranged the new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that tells of much better things than Abel's blood. Be careful, then, and do not refuse to hear him who speaks. Those who refused to hear him, who gave the divine message on earth, did not escape. How much less shall we escape, then, if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven? 
His voice shook the earth at the time, but now he has promised. I will once more shake not only the earth, but heaven as well. The words once more plainly show that the created things will be shaken and removed, so that the things that are not shaken will remain. Let us be thankful then, because we receive a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Let us be grateful and worship God in the way that will please him, with reverence and fear, for our God is indeed a destroying fire. So this section is pointing out that we are under God's grace. So we live in a time, and also the people during the time this was written, had access to Jesus. So Jesus had died for their sins, just as he died for ours. So we, we have the grace that was given and live in a time where we have free access to it. However, it mentions the Old Testament, the events that took place then where they heard audible voices, um, there was miraculous signs and wonders. Um, they had no choice but to see and hear. With us, we have the word of God right in front of us and can come to it. And then it mentions that one day he will return and shake the heavens and the earth. And this is pointing to Revelation because one day Jesus will come back and come back for his people. Thank you for listening to this edition of Christians Unite Bible Readings. Have a wonderful day.